Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, today we're going to be looking into an orchard created for us by Blobs. Um, I will get to the story of this puzzle in a moment. First of all, don't forget that on Patreon there's still time to enter all the fun of the fair, try the various attractions at the CTC fairground, give them a go, see how you do and if you can get out at the end of the four hard puzzles and the one easy one, they're not four hard ones, there's two too medium, too hard, and one easy. And the hard aren't that hard. Um, give those a go on Patreon. And also watch Simon solve the Cogito's incredible roller coaster Nurikabi there. Brilliant fun. Um, now, what else we got going on? We've got um, all of our apps, including Line Sudoku. This, this puzzle has a number of weird lines in it that have special rules, but there are some of the more normal ones. Well, we have region sum lines and uh, Ren bands in that, so. Maybe, maybe not as abnormal as I'm claiming, but there are some extra rules about these trees that we'll get to. Um, do check out all of our apps, they're brilliant. And you can, while you're in the description field, you can look at our Sven Sudoku pad and our merchandise, loads going on. All our books, well, our, our books are arriving now, which is great. Thank you to those people who've written to us to say that Cracking the Cryptic's Greatest Hits Volume 2 is good and those who enjoyed The Fog of War. Now, there is a deluxe version of The Fog of War book coming out this month. It will include um, puzzles by, more puzzles by Sandra and Nala, and puzzles by Jay Dyer, and Analytical Ninja, and Chili, and Zeon Risk, and Math Pesto, and even Fistamafel. So, if you pledge to that, it will be coming out later this month, and uh, thank you very much, and we think it'll be great. I think there will be a way to get hold of these Kickstarter products eventually. Um, just, just keep following the channel. Why wouldn't you? Great stuff going on. And the great stuff going on today originated, Rock Rat Zero wrote to us and said that uh, Blobs and himself had come up with these puzzles while... I think it was from some prompt or other, and they had done different sort of their take on that prompt. And uh, Blobs has used doublers, and I love using doublers, but sometimes the video is very long, so you can check that out on the link. Well, you can check it out by looking at the timestamp of the video, see how long it is. But um, there is a risk that this puzzle will be hard. Although Rock Rat Zero claims neither puzzle is very hard. I don't know what that means. And I know Rock Rat Zero has set very hard puzzles before. So is Blobs. Very reliable constructor though. It's always good fun. And I will go through the rules now of this puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply at least. The digits 1 to 9 will be placed in every row, every column and every 3x3 three three box. I say digits very carefully because there are 9 doubler fruit in the puzzle, one in each row, column, and box. Each tree, so these are cells that, cells containing a doubler fruit count as double their digit value for rules we will come to. Um, each tree has exactly one doubler fruit on one branch tip. So one of those will be a doubler. I think we can assume that the tree, from that wording, that the tree doesn't have a doubler anywhere else. If that turns out to be wrong, we may be getting somewhere close to the finish and then coming back to the beginning and starting again. I don't think that's, I think the wording of that says each tree has one doubler on it and it's on a branch tip. Five other fruit are scattered around the orchard. Yes, they're not on the trees, that's fair enough. Cells containing a doubler fruit count as double their digit value. Each digit from one through nine is doubled exactly once. That's gonna be worth remembering. Along the grey thermo tree, values must increase from the bulb end as we go up to any tip. That's normal enough. On the pink renban tree, values, oh, it was values in the thermo one as well, values form a non-repeating consecutive sequence. So there might, well, there is a doubler, of course, on one of these tips. Interesting. But it's the values, not the digits, that form the sequence. And along a blue region sum line, region sum tree, values have an equal sum n within each box it passes through. Where the line passes through the same box more than once, each individual segment sums to n separately. Oh, I'm a bit surprised by that. Different lines may have different values for n. So each of the trees may have a different n value. Those four cells are going to be equal to the total of those three cells 
and also equal to the total of that one cell. That's what I'm reading there. Values in cages sum to the given clue. So those three cells add up to 16, but it's their values, not necessarily their digits. You may have to double one of them. Give it a try. Doublers are fun, but you need to go carefully and slowly, I find. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. So, so I was going to look at the cages. I am going to look at the cages, and then I'll come back to this branch tip. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with the cages except in this row where I think we are being told something about the doublers. We can't put genuine digits in both those 17 cages. There just aren't enough big ones. So we're going to put in a doubler into one of the cages. The other cage will be a genuine 9 and 8, but the rest of the row doesn't have doublers. So I'm going to colour it green, which is a grey orchard grassy colour. In fact, I'm going to try and colour the doubler fruit red so there are apples in my orchard. Now, I'm coming back to this cell. This has to be doubled. And I know that because the minimum value for these cells is 10. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. 10. That's a double digit number. Now, I might be doubling one of them, that one specifically. But even if I was, I would be coming to a value of more than 10. So this cell has to get to that value on its own. That is a doubler. And I can colour every cell it sees green as not a doubler. Um, oh, this tree is the same structure. Look, that cell is poking out of the, the, the box. So all of these are non-doublers, and that cell is a doubler. There's not a lot left to do. Now, I'm going to remember that each tree only has one doubler on. And look at that. We're down to this. I can fill in the doublers in boxes six and seven. This is quite approachable in terms of finding the doublers. I'll say that. In row nine, I know where the doubler is now. Um, it's not there. There's no doubler there. One of these... Oh, one of these is the... Gr oh, that is the pink doubler cell because there's only one branch tip left. That's not a doubler. There we go. One of these two is a doubler. And therefore that cell isn't. And actually those two aren't. And now we know because they, they see both of those. So if that was a doubler, they'd be in the same box. If that was a doubler, they'd be in the same row. Look, we've got that done. And that says this is not a doubler. And there we go. We've, oops, we've finished off our doublers straight away. I'm two and a half minutes in. Bang, bingo. Right, there's our fruit. Now, now we just have to find the values. Well, OK, let's go back to that 17 cage. That's a 9-8 pair. We've got some genuine cages now. There is a 9 in the 22. Oh, well, it's not there on the thermo. Oh, the thermo is interesting. And these... There's a, this 13 cage has got a doubler in it. What's going on there? I'm going to fill in 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, climbing the thermo. And 6 won't work because the values of those two cells would be at least, well, I was going to say at least 7 each. You can have a repeated value in a row, but it can't be odd because you can only have a repeated value if you're using a doubler cell. So, well, that's definitely not a six. I'll say that. Now, these might be a repeated... Well, they've got to be more than four. So that is at least five or six. It can't be seven, I don't think, because this is even, and it's... A value higher than four. I think it's got to be a six. It can't be an eight or the cage will go bust. There we go. Our first digit is a doubled three. What were the odds on that? This is either... This, these are genuine. These add up to seven. So that's one or two in the corner. This is a genuine cage. It can't have a four in. It's a five with a nine-eight pair. That's a six. That's a one in the corner. Oh, we're away. This is good. 
Now, we've had a doubled three. I don't think that's worth thinking about that. These are, well, they're at least doubled five because of the value of those being at least 10. So there, it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Here, seven, eight, or nine, because of the five, six that this sees in the Sudoku. What about the Renban tree? Yes, this doubler. Oh, well, it's in a 16 cage. So this cell, it's even, so this has to be even. So I'm gonna put eight, six, four, two in that. It's, it's, it's even, I mean, I know that's fatuously all the even possibilities, but I just wanna think about what that makes this. If that's an eight, this is double four. If that's a six, this is double five with a value of 10. If that's a four, you see here we run into a problem. None of these cells on the Renban are doublers. If that was a double four, sorry, a single four, this would be a double six valued at 12. And where would 11 be? or 13 on this Renban. They couldn't be anywhere. So that is not a doubled four, and same applies to, sorry, that is not a four, and it's also not a two. So this is a doubled four or five. Ah, this row, these cages are genuine. They add up to 38. The other three cells are one, two, and four. So the, I uh, don't know what the doubler is, but that's not a one by Sudoku. So we're getting candidates for some of these doublers. Now, that is at least a six. The value of these is at least 12. That can't be double five anymore. One of these is low and one of them is high. Oh, yeah, okay, that's true. Yeah, that's a, that's a valid conclusion in this column. One of these is low, i.e. from 1, 2, 3, 4, the complement to those. One of them is high from 7, 8, 9. Well, it can't be 8 or 9, so the high one there is a 7, and that's not a 7. This is odd, because that is even value-wise. So it's now, well, it sees 1, 7, and 9, so it's 3 or 5, and this is doubled... Well, it can't be doubled three with a five because we've had doubled three. So it is doubled four with a three. That's a two by Sudoku. And we've had doubled four and now this can't be a two. It's doubled one, that's a four. We've now had double, oh, we've had doubled four. So that's a five being doubled. Now we've had doubled one, three, four, five. This is not doubled two, and it's not eight or nine by Sudoku. So it's six or seven being doubled to 12 or 14, leaving five or three in that cell. One of these is a two, but I mean, these aren't contributing values to anything. So they're kind of, they'll get tidied up at the end, I suppose. Now, what about the equal sums? Oh no, what about this cell? which has to be higher than this at least, and can't be three. Oh, we've got a three, that's become a four. We've got seven, eight, and nine still to place in the box. And one of those is a seven, so that's not a seven. Hmm, interesting, we're still, we're still making progress. One of these, neither of those is a three because of that, so that's the three in column Three. This is a three, six, seven cage. This it adds up to 16 genuinely without one, three, four, or six. Okay, the other digits are nine, eight, seven, five, two, adding up to 31. We need to get rid of 15 value of those, which is eight and seven. So that's nine, five, two. 
That is now an eight or six in the doubler cell. This is four, seven, eight. That fixes this as nine. That gives us eight there. Uh, nine, one. Now these add up to either 16 or 12. To add up to 12, this can't be 7, 6. That's, that would bust it. 3, 7 would need a 2 there. That can't be done. 3, 6 would need another 3. It doesn't add up to 12. It adds up to 16. And that must be 3, 6, 7 again, because the 16 is the 3, 6, 7 total. So that's become a 1. Now I've got a 3, 6, 7 set in column 8. Oh, and these add up to a known total, which is 16 minus 6. They add up to 10 without using 3. 1, 2, no, without using 6 or 7 either. Um, so it's not 1, 2, 7. It's not 2, 3, 5. It has a 1 in it. I think it's 1, 4, 5. I'm absolutely certain it's 1, 4, 5. Uh, and therefore, that can't be 4 or 5, because that would need to be another 4 or 5, but 1, 4, 5 are in that group. So we've got 8, 1... Yeah, this is... this is... I don't know. I couldn't... you couldn't call it approachable. Because, like, I've done doubler puzzles before, so I know what sort of things to look at. But it's not as hard as it could be. I'm going to admit that. Thank you, Rock Rat Zero. Two, eight, or nine here. That can't be a two, nine cage now, because it would bust this. It also can't be eight, three, or four, seven. That is, uh, that is six, five. Oh, that does leave this cage fillable, thank goodness. Seven, three. I thought that total was gonna not work out, but it does work out. That's a three, six pair, that's a seven, that isn't. Actually, I should have known that wasn't a 7. Now, the Renban. We've got a 10 on it, and these are all genuine digits. These, therefore, are 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3. They are not 1 and 2. So 2 in box 2 goes there. And 2 in box 4. Four, box 5 goes in one of those. These are 9, 8, 6, 7, 5. We need a 5. Oh, 5 is going to be in one of those cells, along with 3 or 6. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Let's, let's keep our eye on the Renban. But, oh, look, I've got an 8 looking at that cell. Now can I finish it? Fill in all the doubler cells. What have I got left? Two and six. Yes. There they are. All the fruit have been found in my orchard. That's an eight. That's a nine. Um, not going to get a three in the corner today. Whatever you want. That's not a two. These are a four nine pair. In fact, that is a naked nine there, given the five six pair in the box. That's how I got to that. Nine, five, two. That's a one. This is a three, seven, nine triple. That's become a one. That's a two, seven pair. Oh, the N for the trees was always going to be different because those fruit were going to be different. Anyway, 18 there. We've got 12 on this one. These add up to six. They're a one, five pair. Six in the corner. That's a naked four. Uh, seven and nine are done. The thermo works all the way. That's good to see. This is a five, eight, seven triple, but that has to be the five. So it gets a six in its bot, in its cage. This is all still working, I'm delighted to say. We've placed two. Now, one had to be off this tree. So it goes there in the box. Now, let's think about those tree values again. That can't be 6. So, we've got a 10. We need 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. The 
four seems to have to be there. Six is either there or there. I don't know, it's not easy to finish that off. Let's do some Sudoku instead. Five, six, one, five. This five, two down here is resolved. That has now become a three. This isn't a three. Ah, that does finish the three, six, five triple in the box. Now, ten, five, three, and four. We need nine, eight, seven, and six. Six now has to be here. That's not a nine, so it's seven or eight, which is a pair in the row. Nine, seven, eight, and nine in those cells. And this is probably very easy to finish off, but honestly, I am not downhearted. I think this solve, to me, feels like it's gone incredibly well. That's a 278 triple. I mean, it may be just that it's a beautifully set up puzzle. That, that really is the likely answer. That was going to be 7, 8 or 9, wasn't it? We might still have something tricky to do with that Renban tree. Um, how are we getting on, though? There must be something else that Sudoku just nails. No? Okay. Right, if that one of those two is a nine, have I done? I mean, this is that is the only tree left to complete. This is this is the oh no, it's not. This tree has to add up to 18. Ah, that's how to do it. Blob still giving us giving us a chance all the way through the puzzle. Now we need a nine on the Renban tree. There it is. And we finish it off with eight and seven. And we are donezos, I reckon. Seven, two, done and done. Right, there we go. That's not too bad. I can't believe that's been done in 17 minutes on the dot. 130 people in three months. I mean, that's about four months. That's about right in the sense of it is manageable, even though it's a doubler puzzle. I mean, that was great fun. I'm looking forward to Rock Rat Zeros now, but I suspect it won't go as well as that did for me. It's fascinating, isn't it? Once you find the right path, it flows. I'll be very interested to hear what your times have been on that puzzle and whether it... It's possible it was even more straightforward than I found it, but I think I just hit the lucky points as we went. Maybe the assumption that there wasn't a fruit on the tree trunks was helpful although I don't think that was that heroic an assumption and it was true so I think that was what was intended in the uh, in the instructions thank you for watching um, I may clarify that in the video instructions if not in the card that goes with the puzzle because I'm still going to use Blobs's version but thank you very much for watching that um, that was a very enjoyable canter through an orchard. Although that would be a dangerous thing. You'd get knocked off your horse. Um, and I will see you again tomorrow for more Sudoku fun. Bye for now.